Guten Tag Holiday Enthusiasts! Every year in late November, Germany's Christmas markets finally open and provide a very welcome and jolly change during these dark winter months. Get ready to jingle all the way together with us through the festive lanes of Cologne's famous Christmas market. And we are not just exploring, we are feasting. From bratwurst that will make your taste buds yodel to international Christmas market specials. So buckle up and get ready for a sleigh ride of flavors, starting, of course, with the number one classic on every German Christmas market. So we made it here right in the heart of Cologne. It is right at dusk and uh, there's the big dome right there. And right over there on the right is where the first Christmas market starts. And I think Cologne has one of the biggest Christmas markets. However, it's kind of spread out through the city. But we're gonna start there, find what we can eat and find what we can drink. Let's go. It's a German Christmas market, so the first thing we need to get is Glühwein. Let's go. And it's also the first thing you see. There's literally the gate, and there... It's number one. ...is the Glühwein stand, the first one. Hello! Uh, ich hätte gerne einen... Uh, rote Glühwein, bitte. Yeah. Yeah, danke schön. Tschüss. Got it. Mmm, smells like Germany Christmas. This is literally the first thing you have to do when you come to a German Christmas market, glue vine. It's mold wine, I got a red one. This is 450 euros plus a three euro fund, which is a deposit. If you return the mug, you get your three euros back. I think some people opt to keep it. This is this year's design, very cute. I can smell it, it smells so good. Let's go. To me, I'm associating this with Christmas in Germany. If you're a non-alcohol drinker, there is alcohol-free or Kinder Punch as well, but mm, great start. So this is literally, I think, the number one reason why Germans go to the Christmas markets, to get a little buzz on. It's also a very after-work thing to do. Go, not home, but you go to the Christmas market, get a couple of blue whites, and then go home, go to bed, drunk. 0,2 liters and uh, jetzt bin ich drunk. <laughs> du bist dicht. Ich bin dicht. Was? Yeah. Dankeschön. And that's how you do it. You get your fun by returning the mug. Three euros, here we go. We highly recommend just strolling along the markets and taking in the Christmas vibes. There's usually Christmas music playing and combined with the cozy lights, that just gives you this warm, jolly feeling that is so unique to this time of the year. Look at the sheepies. Another thing that you have to get when in Germany at any Christmas market or fair is a bratwurst in Brötchen. So we have a ketchup and mayonnaise on here. It's just this nice char-grilled bratwurst. And I prefer mustard on mine, so let's go. Mm. It's so warm, it's so juicy. I feel like it's the perfect thing you want after drinking a little bit. I don't know, I've been conditioned. <laughs> in Germany, I'm conditioned to want a bratwurst whenever we go out and drink. I love it. Very standard sausage. It's kind of good, especially in the bread roll. If you feel a little bit more dairy, you can go with a Krakow, which is a little more crunchy. Or a currywurst, which Germany is also known for, which is a cut up one and then with curry ketchup on it. But this is the good old classic, the German bratwurst. This is probably one of the best price Leistungsverhältnis in Germany for a Christmas market. It's five euros for one of these, and it's not a bad deal, especially compared to some of the other food. Also, why is bratwurst one of the first words everybody learns about in the German language? All right. You can simply not go wrong with a good old bratwurst. But now that we have the most common one out of the way and in our bellies, we ventured on passing yummy looking chocolate glazed fruit stands, but soon spotted more meat, although in a different form. That's a stand with a huge grill over fire and they make skewers actually with pork and chicken meat. They also have a chicken steak and pork steak on a bun and I got the chicken version. Yes, and in Germany they call this a steak even though I would not call this a steak. It's just chicken breast basically grilled and there's a little bit of uh, coleslaw on it and then you got to choose between mustard and different types of sauces. I got a sweet chili sauce, so this is actually a first for me. I don't know if this is classic Christmas markety. Mmm, look at that. Steamy, hot, looks good. 
It's nice, at least it's uh, flame grilled, very fresh. They just make it right there. And a the bread roll, that is very German. The crunch of the coleslaw comes through a little bit, so good snack. This was uh, 8.50 though, 8.50 Euro for this sandwich bread roll thing. It's a little undercooked. Yeah, it's a very soft, it's, it's good. There are so many things to try, like these German whipped cookies, many cheese variations, roasted elements in many flavors, sandwiches, smoked venison sausages, artsy cupcakes and so much more. But for us, it is time to venture on and just a block over, a very different kind of Christmas market begins. So right here is another big part of the Christmas market starting, which we were really looking forward to, but there are handwritten signs that say it opens tomorrow, so it's not there yet. We're actually in this last year and it's a very like atmospheric one in there. It was a little bit more during the day last year. We made a Patreon video about it. And speaking of Patreon, big shout out to our soulmate level Patreons, Lauren Jarrett, Roger Lubke, Peggy and Derek, Robin and Parker Dobke. Big thanks to you, but let's eat more food now. Aside from food, this part of the market usually showcases some craftsmanship such as woodworking, where you can buy wooden figurines or animals, but also blacksmithing and you might even be able to buy a battle axe. These medieval feeling parts of the markets are my favorites and a couple years ago we even had a little crossbow shooting and axe throwing competition at a market in Hanover. Even though part of it is closed right now, I love the colors and the lights at, when it's dark right now. It just feels so nice and homey and it's making the gray a little brighter. We continued on along the impressive River Rhine towards an area that Cologne is well known for and that now has one of the nicest Christmas markets of the entire city. So we walked down the Rhine a little bit towards the Chocolate Museum. If you know Cologne, you know this area. And they have a nice Ferris wheel and some other Christmas market stalls along here. And I had to get something that I love to get. It's a langosh, it's a Hungarian street food, but at every German Christmas market or fair, it's often here. We just got the one with sour cream, garlic, and cheese on it. It's this beautifully deep fried dough. And then they top it with these nice toppings on there. You can get ham and cheese as well and other things, but I just went with the classic one. Mm. You can taste that fresh chopped garlic in there. So good. It's just this beautifully fried dough into a nice golden crispy brown. And it's, uh, it's a perfect dish. Just fried dough and cheese. What's more to love? There's also sweet variations of this. However, we recommend going with the hearty stuff. Sour cream, garlic, cheese on bread. Like, speaks for itself. Mm. Okay, outside crust, pretty crunchy. A little drier, but then the center. Mm. Mm. It looks pretty plain. It's so good. Man, the center, cream, garlic, everything, cheese, just really, really nice. Definitely a good option at any Christmas market in Germany. So this market here at the Schokoladen Museum, the Chocolate Museum, I like a lot. You walk through this industrial bridge here, which is right over the River Rhine. And then towards this, you have the whole chocolate museum next to you. There's the Ferris wheel lit up on the right side. And they even have a little bit of a pirate ship right there. Let's check that one out. This market was not nearly as busy as the one at the dome, which was really nice. Next to fur and hat stands, there is salmon slowly grilling on open fire, potato twisters and Christmas beer stands. And we wanted to try something sweet while also getting a good view of the city. I don't know why we're doing this. I'm so nervous. Really? Oh, the Ferris wheel. This is not fun. I don't know why we paid money for this. This is horrible. For the B-roll, the overview shots. Oh, this is nice, right above the river wa Rhine. Wine, the river wine. The river wine. There's the dome in the background. What you got there? All right, because I'm so nervous, I'm just going to nervous eat. We got gebraten mandeln, which is roasted almonds. And we got this Ferrero shade covered one. Mmm. Oh, this one's chocolatey. 
Well, that's really nice. At the Christmas markets, you'll always find these. There'll be a huge stands full of like sweet treats and other chocolate covered fruit and other things as well. But I always go for the almonds because I love them. This is gonna break, right? Do you hear this? Yeah. This is gonna bust down. Like, why are we doing this? So aside from the uh, potential imminent death, this is pretty nice. I think it's always so nice to get an aerial overview of these markets, of any city and the lights at the evening. This is a very cool experience. And you have the river on that side and Deutz, Köln Deutz, the part of Köln over there. And then you have the dome in the background, the cathedral looks pretty epic. And damn, this Rocher taste comes really through and I like that a lot. Do you hear the rattling? We're gonna die. This video will never make it out. It's not this is so good, man. This is way better than the standard roasted almonds. What do you think about the boat? It's a nice boat. Very nice boat. As much as I love the busy, hustling, bustling Christmas markets, there's something nice about just being on a rooftop, kind of chill, alone, grab a glue vine, drink it up here. I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to walk <laughs> if I have too many more glue vines. <laughs> you can see the Rhine, it's very high right now. Yeah, got the dome in the background, cathedral. Taking in the calmness of the river and the night lights, we quickly checked out the bigger pirate boat that basically is one huge glue vine stand and made our way back to the city center because we needed to try two more things. Another thing we had to do is a mutzen. This is a nice fried dough and it's a sweet option. It has a thicker consistency. It's not quite a donut. It's very like a, like a cakey donut almost. And it's covered in powdered sugar. It's so good. This was only two euros and you just smell it everywhere. As soon as you walk into the market, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. It's this nice, sweet, deep fried dough. It's a lot heavier than you expect. It's not quite funnel cake status. It's a little thicker and cakier than that, but it's so good. I love it. Mm. Mm. The outside is crunchy with the powdered sugar. The inside very moist. Very cakey. Another thing that is very common at these Christmas markets all throughout Germany is some type of noodles, pasta with cheese. And these are Käsespätzle. It's a little bit like a gnocchi in a small version. They usually get shredded and then put into boiling water and they come out like this. And then it's just topped with cheese. There are some roasted onions on here and some herbs. It's a kind of a dumpling. So I don't want to complain all the time about this, but since it's the German national sport, I'm going to do a little bit. This portion here is tiny. This is 6 euro 30, which is one of the cheaper things on this market. But look at this. I thought for a moment this might be the, the tryout per portion. They hand out for free so people can get that a taste. That is not a thing. <laughs> he keeps saying that as a joke. As an American, this might seem normal to you. It's actually pretty cheap as an American. Yeah, I, I feel like we're developing into that direction. If these portions are normal, we're going to pay soon close to 10 euros. Anyway, let me just try this. Inflation hit us all. Come on. Worth every penny. <laughs> you just love to complain and then you surprise no, yourself. Okay. The, the taste is really good. It tastes really strong like cheese. He has this big ass cast iron pan in the back. It's very fresh. It's very oily though. And um, the roasted onions are very oily as well. But there's a very strong, distinct, good kind of cheese taste that comes through. And I like that a lot. Mm. So let's be honest, this is kind of like the German version of mac and cheese in America. Despite this portion being tiny, this probably has like 800 calories or something. And it's very heavy and if you eat the whole thing, it's small but you might be full. So yeah, actually not that bad. <laughs> I love Käse Spretzler. This is from like the south of Germany and very common in Austria as well. Just smells so good. Mm. I love it with onions. I prefer a little bit of more crunchy onions, but still very good. So way better than American mac and cheese. The best, I can't, I the best mac and cheese you've ever had. I'm, I'm not that. allowed to say that as an American. <laughs> oh, cheese pull. So that was our Christmas market tour here from the city of Cologne and uh, it's very nice. So many lights. It looks so nice. I really like the atmosphere and I like a lot of the food as well. 
I like the Glühwein. <laughs> Let us know what your favorite things to eat or to drink are at these German Christmas markets or how Christmas markets are in your country. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Behind the scenes of filming, so shoveling Kaiser oh, yeah. Spätzle's mouth. I need to keep going. <laughs> Ate it. Can't let anything go to waste. It's too expensive for you. Oh, Junge, Junge. He dropped his fork, so his finger shovel. <laughs> You're a hot mess right now. <laughs>